Harry, thanks for joining us at the Brick Community Stadium. You've just agreed a contract extension with the football club. How delighted are you? Yeah, I'm delighted to extend my stay here. I've been here for a good few years now and I'm enjoying my time here. You've been here since you were 13 years old. Uh, it's been a, a real big part of your life. Uh, does this feel a place you like home to you now? Yeah, definitely. The environment and the training ground and everyone there, it's, yeah, it's, it's a good place to be and it's where I want to be. When you speak to players, you always talk about the family feel that exists within the club. Do you, do you sense that? Yeah, definitely. Everyone's, everyone's all close and I definitely sense the family feel in the club, yeah. You came through the academy and, and you, you enjoyed a, re a real journey through the academy. How, how thankful are you to all the academy staff who've helped you on your journey today? Well, yeah, definitely. Everyone's, everyone's played a part, especially when I've had tough injuries and stuff like that. So, yeah. You've not had an, an easy path, as you alluded to there. It's been one which has had some forms of real adversity. So, does that speak a lot about your character to always overcome those obstacles and, and grow stronger? Yeah, yeah. I think I've think I've had a few bumps in the road, but I think I've dealt with them quite well when I have done. And you've earned a, a new contract extension here today. Uh, what made you want to stay? Uh, I went out last season. I got a good good few games under me. I played a good run of games, and I just wanted to now prove that I can play. You know, Charmoni. Played you on a number of occasions last season. How have you enjoyed playing under the gaffer? Yeah, definitely top manager, and I think it suits me. Suits me. So, see what happens next season. The gaffer's always shown with his philosophy uh, the opportunity for young players to give them a chance should they work hard enough. Does that really encourage you? Because obviously you're seeing your, your colleagues, and you want to follow in that same footstep. Yeah, definitely. It's a bit of, bit of fire in the belly when you're seeing some of the other lads get a chance. So. Hopefully I can get, get a chance and have a good run of games this season. Last season you made six appearances for the Ticks and, and scored against Leicester City under-21s here. Uh, you must be so excited now to get more appearances under your belt at the community stadium. Yeah, definitely. That's, that's the plan, to, to carry on playing as many games as I can and open the, open the club as much as I can. In the second half of the season you went out on loan to Scotland, uh, to, to Air. How do you find that experience? Yeah, I think it was, it was needed at the time to sort of go and get a good run of games in professional football and, and that's what I've done so probably a bit more ready than I was last season. And obviously having that experience playing senior football on a regular basis it, it definitely opens your eyes and gives you that rough and rough and ready kind of feel to it. Yeah definitely when you're in the changing rooms playing week in week out and three points mean a lot and yeah but I thought I'd, thought I'd done well up there, played basically every game I could have and back here hopefully ready for pre-season now to crack on. We had a chat off camera. You, you've had a, a little bit of time to yourself during the off season, but you put a lot of, in, a lot of work in as well. So uh, you must be chopping at a bit to get get back started. Yeah, definitely. That's the plan. And in terms of the lads, we, we return to, to pre season training a week today. You must be so excited to, to see the lads again and, and get straight back to work. Yeah, there's nothing better, nothing better than coming back with all the lads, seeing everyone.